Walnut Creek was very much in, in a transition. We were either going to be a town with our own identity or we were going to be seeing any number of developments. In the early 1970s, we were seeing a great deal of growth. Many people coming to the suburban communities. There was a 200-acre parcel of land at the end of Walnut Boulevard that was proposed for development. And there were no um, sewers, um, electricity, any, anything up there. And so it was all going to be brought in. And as that property was were, uh, to be developed, it was going to open up many hundreds of acres all the way up Mount Diablo. So it was a whole new craziness that the citizens of Walnut Creek were very concerned about. And Bob Schroeder, who was the mayor of Walnut Creek at the time, said we either needed to put our money where our mouths were and do something about um, stopping this type of development or let it go. So that's where it started. So we started by um, sending out letters to all sorts of groups. It was definitely a grassroots effort and we were very conscious that we wanted to make it a community-wide effort, not a special interest group. And that was very important um, to us, that this be something that all citizens could grasp. We had enough money collected that we were able to hire a um, consulting firm. We put together figures on, um, of $6.75 million as being the amount of money that we could afford to buy this property. So that was what was put on the June 4th, 1974 election. We were um, thinking of open space, parks, and trails, so that we wanted every part of the city to have something. Because we were um, taxing ourselves for, um, in 1974, an additional $35 a year on our property taxes. And at that time, people were more conscious that $35 was a lot. There was um, a group of about um, a half a dozen of us that went around and talked to anybody that would listen to us. We also, at this time, there was a big transition in the city council and we had great support from the city. So we really had support from all many, many different groups. It was an absolutely amazing experience. The, the um, weekend before the uh, Tuesday election, we used the rest of our campaign money and rented a cable car. And we had um, dignitaries um, and city council and, children, many of our own children, on this cable car all over the city. And we had flowers and we were giving out flowers just reminding people. Then after the election, I can remember being interviewed by the newspaper and, you know, awestruck that this was, to the best of our knowledge, the largest bond passed by our citizens to preserve open space parks. To me, one of the awesome things is that you can park your car, say, at Indian Valley School or Sutherland and walk 500 feet and feel as though you're not seeing another house or hearing anything except nature. And to me, that's the awesome thing, that it's right at our back door. I feel very proud of what we have succeeded in doing, in preserving this land. But we must be watchdogs for forever to preserve this identity and to keep it the way we are. And I think it is a proud accomplishment and I think the people of Walnut Creek should be very proud of what we've done.